Welcome back to your own MM Reviews channel, where we break down movies. In this video we will be reviewing an action comedy movie released in 2024 named Argyll. So sit back and enjoy. The movie begins in Greece, where sophisticated British spy Aubrey Argyll is getting ready to approach his target, a terrorist named Lagrange. Following a quick dance, Lagrange instructs her assassins to aim their guns at Argyll. He then reaches out to his partner Kira, who uses her technology to help Argyll find an escape route. Lagrange eventually corners Argyll and Kira, shooting Kira in the chest. As Argyll tries to save her, he contacts his other colleague, Wyatt, to apprehend Lagrange before she can flee. Wyatt manages to capture her, and together with Argyll, they question Lagrange to uncover the identity of her employer. It is revealed that she works for Fowler, the same director who hired Argyll and Wyatt. Lagrange poisons herself before she can be captured, leaving Argyll questioning who he can truly rely on. The setting changes to a book reading event featuring Ellie Conway, the author of the Argyll book series. This scene is taken from the final chapter of the fourth book in the series. Ellie answers questions from the audience before retreating to her private cabin with her beloved cat Alfie to start working on the fifth book. She spends the entire evening engrossed in writing, believing she has finished it all before heading to bed. The next morning, Ellie receives a call from her mother Ruth, who stayed up all night reading the manuscript Ellie had sent her. Ruth praises the book but expresses her dislike for the ending, labeling it a cop-out. Ellie then embarks on writing a new chapter in an attempt to provide a more satisfying conclusion. Despite brainstorming various scenarios to improve the ending for Argyll, she struggles to come up with a solution. Ellie and Alfie decide to embark on a train journey to visit Ruth in Chicago. Little did they know that this trip would take an unexpected turn. As they settle into their seats, Ellie is approached by a man named Aidan Wilde, who claims to be a fan of her work. However, his true intentions soon come to light when he warns Ellie about potential danger on the train. Just moments later, a supposed fan approaches them, wielding a knife disguised as a pen. Aiden springs into action, bravely fighting off the attackers while Ellie desperately tries to find a hiding spot. In the midst of the chaos, Ellie's imagination takes over, and she envisions Argyll himself in Aiden's place. To her surprise, one of the assailants turns out to be Carlos, a man she had encountered before at a book reading. Aiden swiftly takes control of the situation, leading Ellie to the end of the train. With a daring move, he blasts open the doors and together they parachute out of the train, with Alfie by their side. The intensity of the situation overwhelms Ellie, causing her to lose consciousness mid-air. When Ellie wakes up, she finds Aiden with a new haircut and learns that he has taken her to a cabin. He explains that they are being pursued by assassins from an organization called The Division, led by director Ritter. The organization believes that Ellie's books predict events related to their work, and they are eager for her to finish writing the final chapter of Book 5. Meanwhile, Ritter is seen executing his deputy director for failing to capture Ellie and retrieve a master file that could expose all Division agents. Aiden reveals that the character of Wyatt is based on him, and Kira was a real person who tragically died. To track down an informant named Bakunin, who possesses the master file, Aiden takes Ellie, and Alfie, with him. Aiden encourages Ellie to start writing the next chapter in hopes of getting clues about Bakunin's whereabouts, unaware that Ritter and his men are eavesdropping on their conversation through fans recording Ellie on their phones. The pair is guided to an apartment believed to be owned by Bakunin. Upon arrival, they discover only an opening beneath the floorboards, where Aiden uncovers a book containing information penned by Bakunin. Subsequently, 
Division assassins begin approaching the building, prompting Ellie and Aiden to seek refuge under the floorboards. After some time, Aiden emerges from hiding to eliminate the assassins. To avoid further danger, the two escape to the roof and leap onto a dumpster below. Aiden takes Ellie to his place in London for safety. While he is in the bathroom talking to his employer, Ellie overhears him saying that she needs a bullet in her head. Terrified for her life, she grabs Alfie and contacts Ruth to arrange a trip to Chicago for herself, along with Alfie. Upon reaching Chicago, Ellie reunites with Ruth just before her father arrives, only to discover that it is actually Ritter. Ritter starts searching through Ellie's belongings before Aiden shows up, revealing to Ellie that these two individuals are not her real parents. After Ritter drops the charade, Ruth, whose true identity is Margaret Vogler, pulls out a gun, and a British accent, on Ellie. Aiden intervenes by shooting Ruth and knocking out Ritter before swiftly getting Ellie out of the dangerous situation, unfortunately leaving Alfie behind. Aiden accompanies Ellie to meet his employer, Alfred Alfie Solomon. It is during this meeting that Ellie discovers a shocking truth, she is actually the real Agent Argyll herself. Her books were not mere predictions, but rather recollections of her previous life as a spy. Her true identity is Rachel Kyle, and she lost her memory after a failed mission. Unfortunately, Ritter and Vogler managed to reach Rachel before Aiden, pretending to be her parents and convincing her that she was always an aspiring writer. Their plan was to extract information from her latest book, which they believed would reveal the whereabouts of the master file. Ellie is left bewildered by this revelation but her confusion quickly turns into action when Aiden attacks her. Drawing upon her skills from her past life, she is able to effectively neutralize him. Solomon informs Ellie and Aiden that the master file is currently held by a division associate named Saba Olbad, also known as the Keeper. To retrieve it, they travel to Arabia, where Ellie must assume her previous identity as Rachel. While waiting to meet with Saba at her compound, Aiden surprises Ellie by asking her to dance, reminiscing about their past romantic involvement. Meanwhile, Saba notices Ellie alone and engages in conversation, convinced that she is indeed Rachel. As a result, Saba entrusts Ellie with the master file. However, the division manages to locate Ellie and Aiden capturing them and bringing them aboard their large ship. It is at this moment that Ellie discovers she herself is an asset of the division. Through a flashback, it is revealed that Ellie had killed Bakunin and taken the master file, causing her subsequent memory loss due to the explosion triggered by his self-destructing apartment. In order to protect herself, Ellie shoots Aiden in the chest, making Ritter believe she is on their side. She also has to feign indifference towards Alfie, who is currently under Ritter's custody. In reality, Ellie aimed for a specific area, ensuring that the bullet would pass through Aiden's chest without hitting his heart. His survival depends on stopping the bleeding promptly, a concept Ellie learned from a fan theory on how Kira could have been revived. Eventually, Aiden manages to break free and eliminates his captors before rushing to assist Ellie. Ellie witnesses her final hallucination of Argyll, who reassures her that she never required his help to accomplish what she was capable of doing. She then confronts Carlos and his henchmen, who cease firing when crude oil begins to leak out. Recalling a memory of ice skating, Ellie attaches blades to her shoes and glides across the oil, cutting down the assassins before facing off against Carlos. The confrontation concludes with Ellie hurling a knife into his heart. She dispatches the remaining assassins with gunfire, alongside Aiden, showcasing their teamwork with style. Together, they reach the ship's control room to transmit the master file to Solomon 
only to be threatened by Ritter aiming his rifle at them. Alfie intervenes by attacking Ritter, allowing Aiden to eliminate the threat. Despite Alfie inadvertently damaging Ritter's eyes, hindering the retinal scan required for the upload, Aiden finds an alternative solution. As they proceed with the upload, Vogler arrives with a music box that manipulates Ellie into attacking Aiden, pausing the upload process. Aiden engages in a reluctant fight with Ellie, nearly succumbing until a mysterious figure boards the ship and incapacitates Vogler, breaking Ellie's mind control. The figure is revealed to be Kira, who survived a gunshot wound similar to Aiden's, as she was the one who proposed the theory to Ellie. The trio completes the upload and evacuates the ship, which detonates, eliminating Vogler and any remaining threats. Finally, Ellie and Aiden share a long-awaited kiss. Ellie steps back into her author shoes and wraps up book five, ensuring Argyll gets the happy ending it deserves. She heads back to the bookstore for another reading session, where a curious fan inquires about the character's fate's post-story. Ellie playfully responds that, hypothetically, Solomon was honored by the CIA for exposing the division, Kira pursued a successful career in tech, and it seems like Ellie and Aiden are an item. Just as she's about to finish up, a fan who bears a striking resemblance to a nerdier version of Ellie's vision of Argyll stands up to ask a question, hinting that Ellie might have some questions for him too, catching her off guard. As the credits roll, a flashback to two decades earlier reveals a young Argyll entering a pub, hinting at a connection with the Kingsman Agency, existing in the same universe. The screen then displays Argyll, book one, teasing a film adaptation of Ellie's debut novel coming soon. And the movie ends here. Thanks for watching this video. If you last this long please hit that subscribe button, like this video and share it with your mates.